So this is kind of the story of what I was doing as an artist during the sort of most extreme of the lockdown situation in London. Um, I'd been over in Paris to drop off some work for an exhibition which got cancelled while I was there. So I'd already had two weeks of lockdown in Paris, then came back to London. And I was really struck by how quiet everything was. Uh, everything that I've had organised for the year has been cancelled. And I would look out on the streets and think there's got to be a way of um, engaging as an artist with the people around me. One of the things I'm really sort of aware of always is how, you know, we as artists don't often have the opportunity to speak directly to the public and show our work directly to them. The experience is, is usually sort of mitigated by institutions or galleries or other sorts of forums. And I thought, well, why don't I just put one work out every day for a period of two weeks and see who I get to meet and see who responds. And, and that's how it started. And it's been really kind of great fun there was a sort of logistical side of things as well to deal with because, you know, my front garden is a bit scruffy, really. And uh, and in terms of having uh, places and things to hang works, I was sort of limited. I just had a ladder and some sandbags and bits and pieces of furniture. And um, and so every time I put something out, I had to kind of work out how am I going to hang this and uh, what's going to happen if there's wind? So there was an awful lot of kind of tying down and weighing things down. And um, and that was, it, it was kind of fun really, although it did take up a lot of time. And I did think, well, I was just going to show the work for, one work for half an hour every day. Uh, often because people passed and the conversations were really interesting, that half hour would stretch to one hour. So on top of that, there was the kind of preparation beforehand and I would post on the uh, sort of our local residents Facebook page what I was going to show each day. And I would put some small texts out as well about the work, explaining what I was trying to do and um, wh what the story was in the artwork. So people could um, stop and read as well as stopping and looking at the work. Now, some of the pieces I showed were very small. Um, particularly the three-dimensional pieces. And so I would put out uh, magnifying glasses so people could look. And of course, this is a time of physical distancing for, for a very good reason. And so I would wear rubber gloves and had sanitizing gel so that um, I could sanitize the magnifying glasses and stuff. Um, but I have to say there was a wonderful kind of response from people people that I'd never met before who just were walking up and down the street at a different time from the normal time I would be out um, and would connect. I had a, a really nice man who pulled up in his car because he was passing, saw one of the pieces and, and just got out and came to see me and came to look at the work and we had a lovely conversation. We had kind of delivery guys who would stop and, and have a look every day and talk about, you know, what they felt about the piece and if they were interested in it for other reasons. Also, a lovely young woman um, came and showed me her work um, while I was showing a piece called The Dreamer. And, um, and so there was a very kind of really nice kind of two-way engagement. Um, between me and and all the people who came to visit. Um, one of the really positive things that came out of it is that uh, having met lots of local people, we're now going to do an event where everybody in the local area can come out and put a piece in their garden uh, on the 21st of June this year. And we're, we'll have a sort of arts trail, um, quite informal, but you know, sometimes that's the best way. Um, it was a really nice experience and it's made me think that even when this period of um, social distancing is over, I think I would like to continue with this kind of very direct engagement with people who want to see art. Um, I think it's very valuable to keep in touch with that as an artist. 
So thank you to everybody who came and visited uh, and the great support from local residents and those passers-by. Thank you. <laughs>